day guys welcome back I'm just gonna put my long sleeves on I need my fingers to use my screen on my phone so I can't do it beforehand get my long sleeves on tuck them over my gloves now hopefully you can hear me today I've got a, a mask on um, this resin the delcom it, um, it's very, very strong odour to me. Like I can feel it in the back of my throat and it kind of makes me feel a bit shaky, like a bit of heart palpitations. So I'm going to be really careful with it. I'm not going to buy it again, but I've got some, so I have to use it, but I am going to be really careful using it. Got my door open, got some ventilation, got my mask on. So hopefully you can hear me okay. I'll try and speak up a little bit. Right, um, my resin has been resting for 15 minutes. It's a pretty thick resin, this one, this Delcom Crystal Clear. So I'm only going to wait for 15 minutes. I'm going to get straight into it. I'll talk to you as I go along. I'm going to put 20 grams of resin into my little cup. 18, 19, 20. There we go. I'm using three colors today. I've actually got some new pigments that I'm going to try. Um, and see how they go. That's that one. And then whatever I've got left, I'll pour into my coaster. I've got that sort of geode shaped one today because if it works, I want to paint the edges with some silver. Okay, so that's it. They've each got 20 grams in them. I made up um, 120 grams. So that's 60 and I should have 60 left. So I'll just pour that in there. 60 should be fine for the coaster. I don't like them too full. And yeah, I am hoping that um, if it works, I'll paint the edges in silver. All right, that can go there. Now my new colors, oh, I forgot my middle. Oh my gosh, I forgot my Got my center. I have to take some out and scrape that. See if I can get a little bit more out. I'm going to have a, a silver glittery center. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. I think that's enough. <laughs> don't know my own strength. Okay, don't know where the other half went. Um, oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. All right, you can go in there. Um, now, I've got, as I said, I've got some new pastes. I got these from um, Amore Art. And the, I thought I was getting nozzles on them, but it's the little bottles that you get the nozzles on. And they were pretty much out of stock of the little ones. So I bought the big ones thinking that I was going to get nozzles, but I didn't. So I put them into these squeeze bottles. So I'm going to do the same as I would normally do with the Cast and Craft. I'm going to put in... Might help if I opened it, woman. Three drops. One, two, three. So it's a pretty thick, sort of a gluggy paste, like the cast and craft. And then I'm going to put in two drops of the magenta alcohol ink. Now, I haven't tried this before. I have no idea if it's going to work with a different brand because normally I just use the cast and craft. So that's the pink. And we'll do the same with the purple. Well, this one's called blue lilac. It's a purpley color. This one seemed to be even thicker than the pink. One, two. It's just really, really gluggy and thick. Three, all right. Wipe the top off, that's that one. And then I'm gonna put in two drops of the Blue Violet Alcohol Ink. Hope you can hear me. I really don't like having to wear this awful mask, but I think it needs to be done with this resin. Now the last one is going to have the white. I'm not using the Cast and Craft, I'm using the same Amore Art White, and we'll squeeze three in. Uh, it's a bit difficult to squeeze. Squeezing with all my might. One. Come on, in you go. Two. 
It's got to be a better, better way, guys. I don't know. People make these products and they put them in bottles that really don't get anything out of. It's tricky. And then follow that up with, you guessed it, two drops of white alcohol ink. So each of them have got three drops of pigment paste and two drops of alcohol ink. And uh, we'll stir that up. Let's see how we go. Okay, that's that one. Well, that's a pretty bright colour, isn't it? I just, I was finding that with my cast and craft and then using a little bit of pigment paste, I really wasn't getting like a coloured pigment paste. I really wasn't getting a bright, bright colours and I wanted to have some brighter colours. So I saw these online and I, I ordered them. I had to go to their website and order them. Again, I have no idea if it's going to work. We shall see. Hope so. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with them if it doesn't work. Now this purple was really quite thick and I would like a darker colour. So I'm going to add another two drops of alcohol ink. Only because it was such a thick um, paste to begin with. I think I can get away with adding another two drops all right, so those are my colours. And this one, there's not much left of him. I got my chunky glitter in. That arrived. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in. And I'm just going to mix it with a tiny little bit of my really fine glitter. So, because I don't really like this very fine glitter, but I figured I have to do something with it. So if I mix the two together, that way it doesn't get wasted. All right, see how it's thickening up already? Um, it's been 20, just over 20 minutes. And I want to torch this. Can you see the ring of um, bubbles there? The resin sort of pushes the bubbles into the center. I have got some bubbles around the edges. I can see that. Let me just see if I can get rid of them. I am hope, as I said, I am hoping to paint these edges anyway. So if there's a few bubbles, it's not going to matter because you won't see them. I'll, I'll paint them. All right, let's torch again. <clears throat> right. So that's it there. I want to save a little bit of silver for the top, just in case I decide that I prefer the the top to the bottom. I want to have a little bit of extra bling. Actually, I don't like that tiny little glitter that I put in. It's made it go kind of grayish. I prefer the bigger ones. Can't take them out now, can I? Nope. All right. I'll know next time not to use the little ones, just to use the big ones. Um, now, I've got my three piping bags ready to go. I snipped the ends off them because they were too long and then they wouldn't go over my my big cup that I usually use which was yeah I didn't think about that did I so I had to use the smaller cups but that's okay. I kind of wish I'd made up more resin now because I've got a, a lot of this colored resin. I always say that don't I? Because I, I, I mean, 20 grams, that's only a small amount. I should make up enough that I can do two coasters because I end up wasting a lot of the, the coloured resin. But then I thought, well, if it doesn't work, I don't want to make up too much resin and waste it. So that's why I've only made it up enough for one coaster. So I thought I'd start with purple, the darker colour, and do a ring of purple petals and then a ring of pink and then ending in white or do I do purple white pink white mm, I don't know it's only little now because I snipped the end off it's much more manageable really 
So, oh, I don't know what I should do. Um, I've done a few. Actually, I really like the layered look when you do lots of layers. I did my pink one. My recent pink coaster was five layers. Um, and it was really pretty. And then the blue one I did, I think, was seven layers. And it was really pretty too. So I think I'll go with more layers. So if we go white, purple, white, pink, white. Two, three, four. That'll be five. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Now, snip the end off. I guess I'm making it about, oh, it's hard to say, three millimetres wide. A little hole. See, this is the same. It's a little bit thinner, see? I like to make them all the same. So snip a little bit more off. Yep. Try and get them all the same size if possible. And again, you know, it depends on how heavy-handed you are at pushing that resin through. Let me just wipe my scissors off. <clears throat> Radio. Let's get this show on the road. I don't know if I can zoom you in. I'll try, but I really don't think I can do it with my gloves on. Oh, it's working. Let's move you over a bit. It worked. Now, are we focused? Focus, focus. Is it focusing? Normally if I touch the screen, it um, it focuses, but it's not doing it because I've got gloves on, so we'll just have to hope for the best. Oh, there it is. There we go. Ended up, ended up working. Okay, let's do this, you guys. Let's see if this new brand of resin works. Tuck that in your hand hold it like a pen if your resin is all flowing out it's too thin you need to wait a bit longer you should be able to hold it like that and nothing drip out okay and here we go first layer is white and then Purple. I'm just going to do what I did with my others because I really like that design of the overlapping. All right, let's take my time. There's no rush. Okay, where um. Oops, where you've gone over your colours twice, like in the middle, that you can tend to get a little bit of a blob there, blobbies underneath. But so now they're getting bigger because we're going towards the outside of the coaster. Oh, that, that, that's very thin, that one. I don't think I cut that hole big enough. I'm going to have to go with another layer. Let's go with pink again. I'm going to make it a little bit wider. And we'll just have the one row of purple. See, I've got plenty left. I really should make more. So I can do two coasters and not waste it all. See, this is better. It's thicker now. And I'm going to try... Oh, see, that's touching over there. I must have been a bit off-centre, obviously. But let's try for one more row of white. Okay. There we go. Um, I've got a little bit more of that C 
silver there if I need it. Heat gun on low, warm the metal. It's not moving. I hope I haven't, we left it too late, but anyway. Now, from the outside in, give it a push. Starting to puff up. That's it. Don't overheat it. Now I'm going to put some more of this silver in the middle. It's probably just going to fall through to the back. <laughs> okay. Um, it, it's kind of looks as if it's separating a little bit. I think it's probably because I heated it too much maybe. I'll bring you down so you can see. It's kind of gone dotty, whereas over this side here has remained more um, full. Not dotty. It's hard to explain. Um, anyway, let's have a look. I'll take you down. And we'll see what it looks like around the table. See how it's kind of looking separated? I might have heated it too much. I get overzealous with the heater. When I see that you know, my little edges, my, my petals that I've made, that they aren't sort of puffing up, I get a little bit carried away with the heat. Um, and it may sort of break them a little bit. See that one on the left there? How it's nice and sort of block color and then those up there they're kind of broken but look it's early days we'll see what happens i like the purple in the middle actually i'm glad i only did the one row of purple i just wish i had um, made up more look at all that it's going to waste now next time if this works um, i'll do two in future and hopefully uh, hopefully it'll work all right i'll come back in half an hour hope you can hear me i'm getting all fogged up oh my gosh all right, I'll come back in half an hour and we'll, and we'll see if it's changed, okay? Morning. Look at this. Now, it, um, it still looks quite flimsy, I guess, on the edges. Like, it's not, not a pure white. Um... I'll show you what I mean. See that one there? You can see that the white petals have stayed white and they're kind of more opaque. With this one, definitely not as opaque. Now, I don't know if it's the resin or if it's the overheating. Look at all the bubbles, oh my gosh. I don't know that I like this resin very much at all. <laughs> Look at all those bubbles. It's very thick. I think it's supposed to be for um, like top coating something. I don't think it's for casting. So I don't know that I'll really use it. All right. So there's our petals. Let's have a look at the back. Ooh. Oh, well, that's pretty. Hey, we've got more of the... Um, more of the block colour on the outside. How does that work? Sort of wispier on this side. Maybe it's because I was looking at through the pink that it didn't look <laughs> that good, but oh my gosh, look at those bubbles. Look at the difference. I mean, this one's got a few bubbles, but nothing like this. All right, so that is the front, that is the back. I really like that, except for all the bubbles. So over here, you get that little bit of blobbiness where your, you know, your colors overlap, 
But I just think that helps with the 3D look. I'm, I'm not opposed to that at all. But um, just oh, those bubbles. I guess if you put a clear, not a clear, if you put another coat over the top, um, maybe purple, it will kind of hide the bubbles. You can only see them really because they, it's clear. But if you put another colour on there and hide those, I think that would work well. That's really pretty. Okay, happy with that. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be with with that. But um, yeah, I will keep experimenting. I'm really enjoying doing these. And um, we'll see you real soon, hey, for the next one. Bye for now. Hey guys, I'm going to paint the edges of this little coaster in silver just to match that little silver centre. You know, you don't have to have them clear. You may if you want to, but you don't have to. So what I do is just pour a tiny bit into my lid. I just find it's much easier to handle if it's in the lid and not in there somewhere in the dark depths. Because then you stick your pen in there and you, you don't know how far it's going in. Oh. All right, so this is just the old um, Krylon silver leafing pen that I'm using it's empty now so I just dip that in there and I use it as my paintbrush I just think it's really easy to do right so here we go I'll move that out of the way a little bit so that my camera can focus on what we're doing I don't know why it's a bit dark it is early morning so it's not very dark it's not very bright yet in my studio so I do apologize if it's a little bit dark but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I should have probably done half before I came to you. <laughs> so I um, didn't bore you with painting the whole edge, but I'll try and go quick. It doesn't take very long at all. Just keep moving it around. Hope it's going to look pretty. All right, I think I'll just stop there because it's going to take a while. Let's let's paint the top edge of the, the side that I've done. So basically just pop your pen back in. And you want your pen, you can buy empty ones of these and put your own paint in them. You just want to have it sort of half on and half off like that. But I'm going to turn it so I can see what I'm doing. And then you just because there's a little rim there for it to, to follow. So you just basically follow that all the way around. It's pretty quick. Where I've started, there's a bit of a blob. I'm just going to wipe that off because I don't want it to run. Why is it so dark in here? Can't see. Hang on. brought a light behind me now where did I get up to I want to do a slightly thicker little edge because I can't even see it yes that's up to you you know how thick you want to do it I want to be able to see it and just dip your little Brush again, your little pen. And around we go. I think we're nearly to the edge. Nearly finished. Okay, now I'm just going to finish the side that I haven't finished yet, but basically that's it. What do you think with the silver edge? I like it. I do. I like it. So I'll finish it off um, and I'll go and put it in the sun and show you what it looks like in the sunshine. Oh, there's that ring light. All right, see you soon.